Hi, Duncan from 6.5 here, and just a quick handy tip for you. Something that doesn't come along very often, but when it does, is really irritating. So I've just booked a some accommodation on a hotel booking website, and they didn't have a link to uh, save the booking inside of Google Calendar. Now, Google has a set of providers that it will automatically pull that information in from the hotel booking email or the booking provider if you've used a broker and automatically shove that stuff into your Google Calendar. In this case, that didn't work. Um, it happens to be Hilton Hotels, which I find mind-blowing that Google don't support it yet, or Hilton maybe haven't done the right things to allow Google to be able to support it. Regardless, when uh, you come to your booking email, you actually click to add to calendar and it downloads an ICS file. Now, here is that ICS file. Now, if you're like me and you do not use an app, uh, and just to note, I couldn't do this on my mobile phone, I have to come onto the desktop to do so, which is a bit annoying, but here's how you deal with it. So that ICS file I've downloaded onto my computer, I have it here, and now what I want to do is import it into my Google Calendar. So how do you go about doing that? Well, just like if you're migrating from a calendaring program and you're gonna to start to use Google Calendar for everything, you do it much the same way. You come along and you import it into your calendar. So there's a fairly straightforward way of doing this. And what we'll do is we'll start by going into settings. And then once we're into settings down over here on the left-hand side, I'm gonna click on import and export and I'm gonna select this file from my computer. So I'm just gonna drag that over. I'm gonna click that first, and then I'm gonna drag that over. I'm gonna import or open that ICS, and then I'm going to click on import, okay? And it says I've imported that now. So it's that easy. Uh, it will now appear in your calendar uh, where you're expecting it to be. And here you go, there it is now in my calendar. I can now share that with somebody else if I want to, um, but now it'll pop up and I'll get my rem reminders and so on and so forth. So a little bit tricky, a bit of a pain. Uh, it's unfortunate that this particular provider doesn't provide the right links in order to push it straight into Google Calendar. And if you're listening, Hilton, I suggest you get onto that as soon as possible. Thanks very much for watching. If this was useful, please don't forget to like, and subscribe below, ring the little bell for more hints and tips about Google Workspace, and I'll see you in the next video.